I'm just gonna get straight to the point with this one. Whether you like it or not, you do not own your social media account, whether that's a Facebook profile, an Instagram account, or even a TikTok profile. At any time, this profile can be taken away from you, and trust me, I've seen it happen. Now, honestly, I'm not saying this to scare you. I want to show you what we're doing to protect ourselves if this ever happened to us. And that is by taking your social media following and building your own email list. Now, it sounds very simple, but you'd be surprised at how many online coaches aren't following through with this. When you build an email list, you own it. No one can take that away from you. Well, kind of, unless the authorities would come along and take that away from you, but let's not go there. Anyway, in this video, I want to show you how we're using social media to build a email list and own it ourselves. And it is proving very, very effective. Now I know email marketing doesn't sound exciting. And a lot of people will say email marketing is dead. And honestly, it's not true. And that's why we are still building our email list and taking followers from Instagram or Facebook and putting them into our email list. So let's dive into my computer where I'm gonna show you step by step, piece by piece, how we are building an email list from social media. Okay, so I'm over in my computer and to show you how to build a email list from your social media following, I'm gonna use a real world example. So this is Alex, this is actually my business partner and this is a post that he did to build our email list. So what he did is he wrote a post and he put it on his personal profile and what this comprised of was offering them a step-by-step -step guide to getting crazy social media reach. And in here he just said, just comment send in the comments below and we'll get that delivered with a smile. So as you can imagine what happened, people started commenting send. This went through the algorithm and it gathered momentum. So from here, what we did was we followed up with a message, giving them access to the guide. And this comprised of a landing page. So as I go through this, think about how you could do this for your online fitness business. It doesn't have to be a guide like this. It could be a guide on nutrition or a guide on workouts or a guide on losing weight, whatever works for your online fitness business. So from here, we went and sent them this link. So this is a simple landing page. And at the top, we call out who we want. So we're looking for for personal trainers. And then we're saying get a huge amount of views on your content. So we're giving them a big promise. And then from here, we added in bullet points really to make it compelling because here we're offering them something in return for their name and email address. So it's got to be worthwhile. So from here, they would opt in. And this is where we capture their email address. So we get their full name and email. So once they opt in, it'll then go to the thank you page, which then is um, the training that we've offered them. So that's the video training. But from here, this is really where the power happens. So obviously we've done the first part, we've given them the training and we've captured their email. So we've we've successfully taken someone from Facebook and now we've got them in our email list. But I wanna go in one step further and I wanna show you what happens in the back end. So if I dive over to Clientware, which this is all built in, this is really where the magic happens. So they come into our automated sequence. So they opt in and first of all, they're tagged to so their tag lead generation. So that's the lead magnet that we're offering. And then from here, they're given the first email. So this email is just following up what we've promised them. It's giving them uh, the link back to the training if they want it, and then also a resource that we wanted to give them to go alongside it. So that's just the first email that goes out. Then it goes into another workflow, which is the follow-up email. So as you can see, there's already people going through this. There's eight people here, two people here, five people here. And here we just follow up with more emails. We give more value and we're automating the process. So we're not manually sending these emails. These are just going out on an automated uh, email sequence day after day. And in this sequence, we actually have, I think it's 11 emails. So now you can see the power. We've got lots of people, as you can see, going through this sequence, getting value from us, and we're nurturing these people. We're nurturing the prospects going through. So you could see how you could set this up for your online fitness business, where you could offer them a guide. You could take people from Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, bring them into your email list, nurture them with value, and then potentially convert them into online fitness clients. So there you have it. That is the exact strategy that we use to build email lists from social media. Now, if you're interested in the software that we're using in this video, which is called Clientware, I'll drop a link below in the description where you could book 
a demo and I'll walk you through the software step by step. Clientware also includes templates to all of our emails and all of our landing pages. Now, if you want to learn more about how to start, grow and scale an online fitness business, then the next thing you want to do is check out the video I've got linked up here on what is the best online coaching app. In this video, I actually go ahead and create several accounts and go through it step by step, looking at all the different coaching apps and the features. So be sure to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.